In this video, I'm going to talk about maintenance window feature within Microsoft Power Platform environment. Now, what is a maintenance window? Maintenance window is basically a window through which Microsoft provides an update to the environment for which you have all the apps and flows defined. Now, Microsoft regularly performs updates and maintenance on CRM apps. Now you can dictate when you want to receive those updates. Now, what are those updates for? The updates are basically for security or uh, it can be for performance. If there are any new features or, or from an availability perspective, or if it's a new functionality altogether, uh, there are some updates which are related to service improvements as well. Now, update frequencies are usually weekly. Basically, it uh, the updates are usually sent so that the stability and integrity of the platform uh, remains intact. Now, the maintenance window configuration is only available for production environment. It is not available for dev. It is not available for sandbox or for trial environment because you are only concerned about your production environment because we don't want user to face an issue just because the database or the platform is not updated correctly. Now, configuring the time period range to receive updates from Microsoft, there are some set of windows. You can decide what time range you can specify so that you only receive update from Microsoft during that specific time period only. Now, Remember, this is uh, just a database and application update. This is not a platform update. So if there are any database schema change or application related changes, uh, mostly these are uh, quite applicable to dynamic CRM apps. So if you have dynamic CRM apps installed within your environment, then this particular changes uh, can be configured based on setting some sort of a maintenance window, uh, which can be configured using the Power Platform settings. Now, maintenance can be conducted in uh, any day. You just need to specify the time. No downtime or performance degradation occur during the maintenance window. So that's the whole purpose that uh, when you do those maintenance, uh, those things are, uh, it, it do not have any specific downtime or performance degradation. You need not take the environment out of the active mode uh, and to get all the new features, functionality or performance related fixes from Microsoft. Now, as you see over here, you select any environment and then from there, you will see an option called as maintenance window settings. Now, I'm going to show that in the demo. So let's jump into the demo. OK, so I'm in Power Platform Admin Center. So in Power Platform Admin Center, I can navigate to environments. And from here, I can pick up any environment. So as you see over here, there are various different types of environment. So I have a developer environment. I have a trial environment. I have a production environment and I have a default environment. Okay. Now I, I mentioned to you, it is only available for production environment. So if you have a production environment, then only the maintenance window option will appear. It won't appear for other things as it does not make sense, uh, to update the application uh, based on other types of environment. Now, let me show you where this can be visible. So if you select your environment and you go to settings, so you can go to settings from here or you can go from top. If I click on settings, then here you will see a whole bunch of feature set categorized based on product, business, user permission, audit log templates. And here you will see updates. So when you expand this update, you will see app update settings and maintenance window settings. So this is the thing which we are talking about. So this is that maintenance window settings. So these are the settings through which you can dictate what kind of database or application related update you expect from Microsoft within a specific time period. So if I click on maintenance window settings, then as you see over here, it says you will receive updates from Microsoft during the time selected below. The updates will include application and database schema changes. So it is only specific to application and database schema changes, not necessarily related to the entire platform. These updates do not result in service degradation or downtime. 
Now the maintenance window R. Now why this is why people set this time is because we do not want the performance of the application which is hosted in the environment to get impacted when Microsoft does an update. Now here it says Power platform update schedule is separate from the maintenance window. So remember that's an important part. This is nothing to do with platform update schedule. Platform update schedule is something else. This is only related to application and database schema changes. Now you can set the maintenance window hours. Now it has already picked my time zone, Australia, Brisbane, UTC plus 10. Now here I can say, I can select various time options. So I can say that for uh, Australia uh, time period, uh, what I can do, I can say, I can put, okay, let the maintenance begin at say 7 p.m. to 4 a.m. in the morning. Or maybe I'll say it start from 2100 hours to six hours the next day. So there is a time period of basically uh, around nine hours. So as you see here uh, from zero to nine. So that means the update can happen between those nine hours. And it also gives you an equivalent UTC time conversion. So if I select say 1900 to 4 a.m. So that means the UTC is 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So I can select this and then I can click on save. Now, remember that says it might take up to 48 hours for the maintenance window setting to take effect. So quite possible if you change this selection now, then this setting will be affected uh, well before 48 hours, I can say, but it won't be immediate. Usually it depends on all the background services which gets run while provisioning this environment. So uh, that's why Microsoft gives you a heads up. It says like, even if you make any changes over here, not necessarily it will be impacted immediately. It might take around 48 hours. So I'll click on save. And then from this point onwards till 26th of the third, I should be able to uh, uh, see this maintenance window as affected. Now let's navigate to other environment and see what option do you see? Now I'm in one of the developer environment. And if I again go back to setting, let's go into that same place whereby we have seen the maintenance window settings option. So here under updates, I don't see anything like maintenance window. Now, as I mentioned to you, this particular maintenance window setting is only applicable to the production environment. So if even if you select any other environment, developer or say maybe trial, okay, and let's go to the settings you will not see that maintenance window settings option. So as you see over here, there's no maintenance window setting option. So uh, it's only applicable for the production environment. So that's it folks. This is all about maintenance window setting option within Power Platform environment. It is applicable for production environment and it is used for doing platform. Apart from platform update, it is only available for doing database and application related updates and these updates won't uh, be service uh, degradation related effect uh, and it will be a smooth update from microsoft that's it folks thanks for watching